If you don't like it, and you don't like what they said, and you don't like them, tune in on Saturday night, because one of them's gonna get their fucking ass kicked. You know what I mean? <laughs>I'm not like a UFC diehard fan, but Dana White gets me to pay attention, you know, every not fights, and I'll go in and buy fights. I don't buy every single one because it's not my favorite thing, but I pay attention partly because of you. I like Dana White and the character. I look at you as kind of a character in the, not in the fight, but a part of the whole thing too. But then fighters kind of come and go, which has always been a thing. People are always like, oh, when, when this fighter goes, when, you know, Anderson Silva leaves, what happens? Or when John leaves, what happens? Or, or Connor, but you always, the, the sport obviously has proven it keeps going. But when you talk to him and make fights, there's a saying of like, uh, the great Jimmy Iovine always says, the shit gets bigger than the cat, get rid of the cat. Which is a saying that you have to live and die all, all day, like fighters making fights because you kind of make their career. But sometimes they must start to get on your fucking nerves and they do shit. That's like, <laughs> enough, bro. Like, stop doing it. Like, how do you manage my, my, I don't know if I'm getting to my question, but how do you manage that feeling of like, okay, if I'm you, PR and Dana, you guys are gonna fight, but then PR keeps doing shit. I wanna make him help him get to the championship, but I just can't because he's getting on my fucking nerves doing crazy <laughs> shit that I've told him 10 times to stop doing. That felt like it was a real example too, by the way. No, th those, <laughs> those are all great questions. Uh, for, for, first of all, when you look at what I do, right? There's, there's no uh, off season for us. We go every Saturday, basically, every single Saturday, right? Mm -hmm. So my job is to make you guys stay home on Saturday. And, and I don't compete with other combat sports leagues or any of that shit. You know what I compete with? Whatever the hell you got to do on Saturday night, which is new movie came out. You got to take your girl to dinner. You gotta, there's so many different things that we compete with on Saturday. And the key to the whole thing is putting on a product that people trust, right? I know that if I sit, how many times did you guys sit home on a Saturday and watch a boxing match, you're all excited about it, and you're like, turn it off after, and you're like, God damn it, they got me again. Yep. That just sucked, some... and they wasted my fucking <laughs> yeah, Saturday. I could have done something else. Yes. That's what I don't ever want people turning the TV off on Saturday night after a UFC event and saying. Now, as far as the fighters go and the athletes, I don't muzzle any of my guys. We don't try to tell people what to say and what not to say and what to do. Like I said, there's 8 billion people in the world, right? And, and some people are going to hate some guys. Some people are going to like them, whatever it might be. And everybody has a different um, uh, outlook on life and things that they're into. We don't care what color you are, where you come from, who you sleep with, who you pray to, what you, you know, any of that shit. All that shit's, all, <laughs> you know, whoever you are, Show us, be it, you know, and I'm not always going to get along with fighters. and I don't have to. We don't have to be best friends. Sure. We just got to put on fights every Saturday. Absolutely. You know what I mean? We live in this world right now where I call it the pussification of, of, of all these people right now. It's like nobody can say anything and everybody's fucking offended and everybody's like, I don't give a shit. I don't care. These are all grown men and women, human beings who have their own shit going on and whatever their, you know, feelings are about things. And if you don't like it, and you don't like what they said, and you don't like them, tune in on Saturday night, because one of them's going to get their fucking ass kicked. You know what I mean? And you get to actually watch it and play out. It.